The question still remains unanswered after Cobra Kai's season 4 finale. Who is Miguel's father? This mystery has been around since the first season. Yeah, what about your dad? Is he okay with you getting your ass kicked up and down Reseda Boulevard? Uh, I never uh, really knew my dad, so... But apparently, it will now be one of the main stories in the fifth season. But what if Miguel's father turns out to be another villain from the Karate Kid films? Today we're going to talk about how Mike Barnes could be Miguel's father. Little is known about Carmen's life before meeting Johnny. She explained that she married young with the man whom we assume is Miguel's father. Then she realized that this man was not who he claimed to be. Carmen was in Ecuador during the time, married to this mysterious man and pregnant with their son. She decided to run away to the United States, to Riverside, and then to Los Angeles where she and her son settled. What did Carmen discover about the man she married to make her leave the country while pregnant? We know that Carmen has always been against the idea of Miguel learning karate because she feels that her son could turn violent and dangerous. I'll only make things worse, Mama. Worse than this? Yes. If I just had more lessons, then maybe... No. I'll... It's not St. Lawrence's fault. To be honest, there were some moments... I wasn't sure I liked what I saw. He had this look on his face. We've seen Miguel skew from the good path that his mother laid out for him many times. Maybe in some way, he inherited traits from his father. Don't we can figure this out? Come on, punk, come on! Let's see what you got. Nice kick. Better? Good, we're not gonna... Ah! 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 Although Carmen has tried to prevent Miguel from finding out about his father, the boy has gone alone to search for him. For us, the mysterious man would be none other than Mike Barnes for several reasons. Mike Barnes was a martial arts champion who was hired by Terry Silver to defeat Daniel in the All-Valley Tournament. It is believed that Mike was a famous karate champion who traveled around the world. Terry hired him to fight Daniel, and the amount of money involved in their deal was not small. You remember on the phone you said that if I come down here and I beat this uh, LaRusso kid in the All-Valley Tournament? that you give me 25% ownership in your new dojos. Uh-huh. I'm afraid I'm gonna need 50%. Do you fight as hard as you negotiate? Harder. You got your 50%. Mr. Silver, you just bought yourself a champion. You remember that. Silver offered Barnes 15% of the profits of the Cobra Kai dojos. This was a potential million dollar sum since Terry Silver was going to build dojos all over the United States. This gives us a clear concept of the importance and fame that Mike Barnes had. Kind of like hiring LeBron James to play in a local basketball tournament. But Barnes wasn't just a karate champion. He was also a bully, extremely aggressive, and committed crimes to drive Daniel to the edge to get him to enter the tournament. Barnes was known as the bad boy of karate because he was not concerned about the welfare of his rivals. And this is exactly why Kreese and Silver wanted him. They needed someone who could hurt Daniel and deliver vengeance in the name of Cobra Kai. Yet Barnes lost the tournament, and like Silver and Kreese, he disappeared from Daniel's life. The defeat of a famed karate champion against a local kid must have been devastating for Barnes' career. Soon after his defeat, it is believed that he left the country. Barnes was always traveling. When he met Silver, he thanked him for bringing him to Los Angeles. Mr. Silver? Well, you must be Mike Barnes. Welcome to LA. Oh, hey, listen, thank you for bringing me down, Mr. Silver. Barnes could have traveled and moved to Ecuador, fleeing from his growing bad reputation. He was no longer a karate champion and was being labeled as an evil person. In Ecuador, he could have met Carmen. Carmen did describe Miguel's father as a bad man. And what was Barnes's nickname? The bad boy of karate, remember? Another important fact is that Carmen could have learned English thanks to Miguel's father. The boy's father may have been an English speaker. Carmen learned the language from him since Spanish is the dominant language in Ecuador. Learning English made it easier for her to move to the United States. One of the biggest clues we have is Miguel's name. Miguel in English is Mike. This puts Mike Barnes at number one on our list of suspects. In Latin America, Miguel is one of the most common names and it is also more common for boys to be named after their elders. Another important point is that Carmen escaped from Ecuador while pregnant, but Miguel is going to Mexico to find his father, so his father is most likely from another country. 
But why would Mike Barnes be in Mexico? Other clues connect Silver to Latin America, specifically that Silver dumped toxic waste in the countries near Ecuador. What do you mean you can't dump it in Borneo? Who in Borneo knows what chloride sludge is? Just do it. Do it! Call me when it's dumped. This is why early in the series, fans thought that Silver was Miguel's father, which has since been disproven. If Mike continued to work for Silver, doing his dirty work in South American countries, this could explain why Barnes is in Mexico. Now, if Mike Barnes is indeed Miguel's father, this could represent a big problem, not only because Mike is a criminal, but also because being a former karate champion, he could corrupt Miguel. Who's to say that Barnes doesn't have a dojo of his own in Mexico and manipulates the boy into joining him? Some recently leaked photographs from the Cobra Kai Season 5 set shows that Johnny and Robbie will travel to Mexico to look for Miguel. If Barnes is the daddy, it means that Johnny and Robbie may have to fight to get Miguel back. Robbie would have to knock some sense into a manipulated Miguel, and Johnny would have to beat Barnes to bring the boy home to his mother. Maybe Johnny knows of Barnes, because as I mentioned, he was a famous karate champion, and so was he. Yet they've never met before, and they both fought and lost to Daniel. It would be fun to watch these two former champions fight. So in conclusion, if it turns out that Barnes is Miguel's father, Barnes will question everything about Miguel's life and that Daniel LaRusso has been training him in Miyagi-Do style of karate. This could be Mike's opportunity to return to California and seek his revenge on LaRusso. Hey Danny, I hope you got some good news from my friend Mike here. I hope so listen, too, Daniel. Listen, I told you, all right? I can't help you out. This may be the beginnings of a new dojo in town or a newly formed alliance between Barnes and Silver. Remember that Daniel now has chosen to help him, so maybe Silver will also need a little bit of help from an old acquaintance from another country. Now the real pain begins, Danny boy. The dynamic between karate parents and apprentices' sons and daughters in Cobra Kai is surprisingly common. The similarities between Mike and Miguel are many, and possibly like the boy's mother, Barnes could manipulate and use his son to get what he wants. So what do you think? Could Mike Barnes be Miguel's father? I need to meet my father. This is something I have to do. Please, try not to worry. I'll be safe and I'll be back soon. I love you, Mom. He doesn't know Miguel exists. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as we continue to make daily content here on Hypnos Mirror.